When you think of sports, you probably don't think of pole dance. It's exactly what it's become. The competition is fierce. Here's ABC's Sunny Hostin. I just want to put on an amazing show. For these athletes, thousands of hours of training have boiled down to this night. I'm nervous. As they prepare to step into one of the brightest spotlights in their sport, the wild world of competitive pole dancing. Much of Ashley Fox's year centers around prepping for the pole classic in Las Vegas. She even dropped out of school to pursue her passion for pole dancing full time. How intense is the competition? It's very intense. So there's a lot of pressure to do well. The next 24, gosh, even the next three hours are action-packed. Fonia Monday organizes Pole Expo each year, drawing competitors from all over the world, vying for recognition and a $1,000 prize. All right. A renowned instructor, Fonia's list of famous students includes Britney Spears, who pulled out a few moves during her Slave for You routine at this year's Billboard Music Awards. Climbing the pole with Brittany, we did the basic climb. We made a nice little routine. It was about 20 different individual pole tricks. And your minion salute. For the elite pole dancers taking the stage here tomorrow, their intricate routines comprise of hundreds of complex moves. I can imagine the athletes are going through their music in their mind. They're picturing themselves winning. Ashley doesn't need to imagine winning. She remembers it. Two years ago, she scored first overall. We met at her studio in New York City. And I very often get asked if I'm a gymnast, um, if I'm a dancer. Um, and you know, I'm always like, something like that. <laughs> because you don't want anyone to get the wrong idea. There's a, a lot of misconception about pole dancing, isn't that right? Most people think you're a stripper if you're a pole dancer. Oftentimes, oftentimes. And not to say that there aren't polers who do strip. I'm completely artistic, athletic, and focus on uh, fitness and the artistry. Ashley offered to give me a lesson. Squeeze your back because you want to support yourself. You're going to kind of swivel on your foot, hook the leg, squeeze, and try to land. Can't do that. <laughs> oh, you're going to do this. And believe me when I say she makes it look much easier than it is. And you're going to pull down and forward. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Good, that wasn't so that. bad. I absolutely think it could, should, and will be Olympic sport. It's extreme sport in my opinion. Extreme, she says, because one small mistake can spell disaster. The day of the competition, she's rehearsing every move. The stakes are perhaps even higher for newcomer Chris Saez. He traveled here from his home country, Chile. I just want to do a good job on the stage, you know? I think that if I win, that is going to be amazing. His commitment is clear. Pole is a uh, way of living. You are traveling around the world, competing. Man. Now, with just minutes before showtime, Fonia scrambles to get all the dancers in order. Yeah, it's just freaking out time. Love it. The backstage drama heats up. Everyone wants their space. It's really not a time for like making new friends. I'm feeling super ready now that I have my uh, makeup starting to come together. And once I put my outfit on, I'll be even more ready. Welcome to the fifth annual Pole Expo, everybody. It's ladies first. The women break out an impressive array of aerial demonstrations. Their inspiration ranging from sultry to classical. <laughs> Ashley packs a punch with her superhero routine. Her performance, a clear fan favorite. I felt excited, I felt beast. I felt amazing. Now it's time for the gentlemen to take the stage. Some play the audience for laughs, but Chris is more modern dancer than Magic Mike. Graceful and refined. They were screaming a lot. That's just amazing. For Chris, his dedication pays off in his first appearance at Pole Classic. And in second place, we've got 
Christopher Saez. He scores second in men's. And Ashley? Ashley Fox. Falls just short of a repeat, also taking second in her division. Fuel, she says, to train even harder for the next round. My main goal is to get like first and first and first, and like that's still my goal, and it just motivates me. For Nightline, I'm Sunny Hostin in New York.